Hello and welcome. I'm Charlotte Turner, Editorial Director at TR Business, and I'm delighted to be here with uh, the team from BAT, uh, Lars Kai, who is the General Manager for Global Travel Retail, and Tony Clayton, who is Head of Customer Management uh, for Global Travel Retail. Thank you so much for joining me here today. It's going to be a great uh, discussion that we'll have. Um, the first question I had uh, was uh, for both of you, actually, but uh, perhaps, Lars, you can mm -hmm. ask this one first. For those that aren't familiar, can you tell us more about BAT's Better Tomorrow strategy, which was first launched in 2020? Yes, um, it is basically trying to reduce the health impact of our business. And we have been selling cigarettes for 120 years. We're actually a 120 years old company. Mm -hmm. And when we launched this um, strategy in 2020, it was to ensure that we will have an array of different products that are less risky and are science-based. So what we have been doing is to, to prepare these products that have been launched. We have a, a good option of, of products that consumers can choose from, which is much less risky than the cigarettes that we have today. Now, of course, the best option is, of course, always to quit com smoking completely. But uh, if we think of our consumers, our adult consumers, they do also have a right to choose um, and, and, and make sure that they, they are very happy with what they can choose on the market. Moving the conversation on, uh, Lars, can you explain that how a tobacco company like BAT is really transforming and can you share the progress to date? Yes, I can. Um, yeah, we are a tobacco company, so it's sometimes difficult you know, and you can doubt that we're really transforming into this new uh, era of, 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 of nicotine. Now, what we've done is, of course, we've, I think, first of all, we've launched a, 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 the series of products, uh, mainly three categories, modern oral, mm -hmm. uh, vaping, and tobacco heated products, which is, I think, evidence that, that we're actually doing our best to make sure that we have the, all these science-based products on the market. For BHC, A Better Tomorrow is a world where the consumers can actually choose those three categories of products and, and, and we have a renewed commitment that we will make sure that that will absolutely happen. And Tony, can you offer us your thoughts? Yeah, look, to demonstrate our commitment, by 2025, mm -hmm. uh, we want five, our aspiration to have five billion pounds um, of our uh, group revenue in our new categories products. By 2030, we want 50 million consumers also using our non-combustible portfolio. And where we are today, around 15% of our group revenue is driven by our new categories products. Um, and around 20 million consumers have also used our non-combustible um, portfolio. So I think it demonstrates a really strong commitment. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so Lars, can you tell us some of the options Obstacles that you guys face when it comes to reaching uh, some of these ambitions, these very ambitious targets you have. Yes, I think it's a it's a very good point because um, we are a tobacco company, right? Mm -hmm. And and I think there is a perception of what tobacco companies do and what we make. Mm -hmm. And I think even though we have scientific evidence and we've worked very hard with uh, 1,500 uh, researchers in our company to ensure that we have the best products on the market, this misconception of, of what kind of products we have is, is clearly our biggest hurdle. Now we do have science-backed evidence that some of the propositions, we're, product, products we're making mm -hmm. are actually um, less risky. And, and I think uh, it is the policymakers, governments, uh, different stakeholders, they need, they need to recognize that the options we do have uh, for the consumers uh, are actually better options uh, than, than traditional cigarettes. I'd now like to introduce uh, Nicola Sheridan uh, into the conversation, who is Head of Activation for BAT's Global Travel Retail Division. Uh, I'd like to ask you the similar question. So how does travel retail help you guys and you know, transform the industry, tobacco industry? Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's a really good question, Charlotte. Look, travel retail is an essential um, channel for us um, in BAT. It really supports us with our overall transformation journey. Um, travel retail is a great opportunity and a really unique unique channel to be able to engage with consumers and educate them on the potential reduced risk of these categories. 
um, look, with the increasing availability of um, uh, these these products in the marketplace now, it's really, really important that we uh, showcase them to consumers, but we also inform them and educate them on what their choices are. Mm -hmm. um, and travel retail is, is, is a great platform for us to do that. I think the key thing, though, is that this can't be done by our industry alone, and we really need the support and continued support of um, the wider travel retail industry, mm -hmm. so our retailers, airport authorities and alike, to really help us drive that acceleration. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And a, a connected question, how is BAT animating you know, its brands in travel retail, and what does your future activation plan look like? Yeah, look, as I, as I said, travel retail is, is an essential channel for us as a business. It provides us the opportunity to drive a really deep level of engagement with consumers mm -hmm. uh, due to the, the high dwell times that uh, consumers have in the travel retail environment. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that we are really looking to accelerate. We have a number of activations uh, live at the minute, so we're building uh, pop-up stores for our vapour category. We have one live in Frankfurt at the minute. We have a multi category store live in Dubai that really showcases all of the products available and the categories available to consumers and it helps to educate them on what's the best category for them. Um, it's really, really important for us and the future looks very bright for us in this space as well. Uh, we're planning to extend these activations and really incorporate a number of digital touch points that engage with consumers, that really drive awareness and get their, get their attraction. So Lars, uh, BAT boasts three pillar brands, which are Views, Glow and Velo. Can you tell us what consumers can expect in the coming months and indeed the coming years from these brands? Yeah, we've just started the journey. Mm -hmm. So um, the products we do have today uh, is, is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, what you'll see in the future is evolution of these brands, more research and definitely what we'll do for the future is to fill our pipeline with uh, different um, uh, products that the consumer can choose from. I'm excited to uh, hear back from you in, in the coming months and years what's yes. happening with these brands. I understand uh, we'd love to know what you were planning for the future in detail, mm -hmm. but uh, it's probably not the best uh, to, to, to do it live on camera now. So <laughs> we've got to wait our turn, I guess, to, yeah. uh, to hear what happens with these products yes. in, in the coming years. Yeah. We'll definitely keep you updated. Please do. Please do. Thank you.